Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan. All the auto people were at CES last week. They all had to trek up to the snow of Detroit this week. It's a huge event, over 10,000 press and analysts just for the next couple days before they let the public in. And we're down kind of in the components area and we're excited for our next guest from ThyssenKrupp, Richard Hirschman, who's the CEO of the steering division in North America of the components. You guys are a big company. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so uh, we've got a really fancy car behind us. Tell us mm -hmm. what we're looking at and the, and the part that you guys are playing. So what you're seeing here is a, a car where there are only 23 made of them, and it's a sports vehicle, as you can see. And we're using that to research our stable wire system. The basic idea is to have some kind of a neutral car, which you can show off to different OEMs. They all accept that this is a very nice car. Right, right. And the main target was to show that we can produce really a natural steering feel without having a connection between the steering wheel and the wheels of the car. So it's interesting, in, in the automotive industry, they went to fly-by-wire many, many years ago, right? Yeah. From the old 727, you actually had a cable to the mm -hmm. hydraulics. Now it's all fly-by-wire. So what are the advantages and disadvantages, or I guess mainly advantages, of a fly-by-wire system? I mean, the advantage really comes in combination with all these autonomous technologies. Uh, because you can move the steering wheel independent from the wheels, you can have all different use cases. For example, you can have in autonomous mode, you can have the steering wheel standing still, and the wheels of the car are still turning. And then do you, ha will it have like adjustable things, like if you want a tight steer, or a yeah. loose steer, or, you know, more of a sports car feel, more of a loose right. feel, because it's really software driven, right. it's not necessarily mechanics. Right, that's the other benefit we also show in this car, that basically you can change the ratio of the steering, however you would like, and even you can have advanced steering functions, so if the driver is doing something wrong on the steering wheel, you can correct that without the driver even noticing it. That's what I was going to ask, so for the safety component, yeah. the, the autonomous systems can actually take over the steering right. if there's some reason that, right. that, that things are going bad. I think the best example is if you're an oversteer, that's a situation which is really tricky to handle for an untrained driver. And with this system, even if the driver is doing the wrong reaction on the steering wheel, the car can correct the, the driver's actions. And that's using all the systems with, with, uh, with torque and, and, yeah. and G-forces and, right. and all those types of things. Yeah. So do you have to tie into an existing system or do you guys provide those systems as well? We, we use sensors from the cars, so we don't provide any of the sensors. Okay. We get this information over the bus system from the car and we use it to activate the steering. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, we involved. started this research project five years ago, okay. and the car was finished one year ago. And how long have you been working in cars? Uh, 14 years. 14 years. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm curious because it, it's interesting with this autonomous vehicle yeah. uh, kind of movement. On one hand, you would think it'd be a huge threat to the automotive companies right. and, and obviously the component manufacturers, but the energy here at the show is really it's an opportunity to kind of reinvent things, reinvent ownership, reinvent propulsion, mm -hmm. and reinvent control. I'd just love yeah. to get your insights as someone who's been in the business for a while. Is this a new era? Is this kind of a new energy? In, or is it just kind of the same thing, just trucking along? No, I think it's really changing the game. I strongly believe that we still will have conventional cars like we have today, but there are huge opportunities for complete new business areas which are not covered today by cars. Yeah. All right, Richard. Well, thanks for spending a few uh, minutes and I uh, have to get that thing out on the test track. Okay, <laughs> thank right. you. Thanks a lot, Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE, we're at the North American Auto Show. Thanks for watching.